Hey guys, what's up? It's Bree. Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So you guys know the beginning of February, I did go to Paris and I wanted to come and show you guys my mini, mini haul. So when I went to Paris, I plan on shopping a lot, girl, like a lot. But when I got there, I honestly just got in tune with the whole vibe. I really didn't shop as much as I thought I was going to shop. I did get a little bit of pieces, nothing over the top um i felt like it may be enough for a haul it's not a lot of stuff so i wanted to come and show you guys what i picked up so if you guys want to see the things that i picked up in paris go ahead and continue to watch okay so okay first thing i picked up was this solid gold antique mirror oh my gosh it is beautiful you guys it is so heavy so I picked this up on the side of a on the side of the road. Some man was selling so many of these little gold antique type of mirrors. They were so cute, and I just feel like this is so Paris. And I always wanted a mirror like this. It is so heavy, and I could just you know I could tell this is real gold and it's super super quality. I don't know if it's gold or brass, but girl, it is so heavy. He was selling it for about twenty five dollars. 25 euros so that's kind of like 30 dollars um in u.s i always wanted one of these mirrors it's so french i'm not gonna turn the mirror to you guys because i don't want to blind you but this mirror is so cute and i feel like i can definitely pass this along to one of my nieces or my future daughter it is so heavy and every time i look at this i will instantly think of paris and i thought it was so so i went by the chanel boutique oh my gosh you guys they have like a chanel boutique I forget what street it's on. It was near our hotel, and I decided to go in the Chanel Boutique. I ended up getting this Chanel lotion. This Chanel Boutique only sold, like, um, makeup and perfume. So, I bought some lotion. And this is the N5 Chanel. And this is the lotion. This lotion retail for about a hundred dollars it was like a hundred dollars euros so i don't know how much it is like in our type of money but the euros it was a hundred dollars and it is so heavy and great quality i know y'all like brie you spent a hundred dollars on lotion i did girl these are the type of things that i like though i like these on my vanity i feel like i can keep this for years even if i don't use the lotion i just like looking at stuff like this i don't know it just makes me feel like um i don't know it makes me feel bougie and i like these type of things guys it smells so good i wanted to get the powder but they didn't have the powder i did see the powder here and i think it was in Mm, Macy's so I'm gonna go get the powder I think the powder is $100 as well like the body powder but this is the body lotion y'all it smells so good I feel so luxe when I wear this like you know I'm on my way to like a date night and I wanna you know get dressed or I'm going out for drinks and you know I want to lotion up in my Chanel lotion. I feel like we deserve these type of things. These are the type of things I like to treat myself with sometimes, you know. I got that. I also picked up the Chanel Gal Gabriella. I think that's how you pronounce it. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But I did pick up me a bottle of that. And this was um, $100 as well. It was like one. It was like 110 after tax. So I got this bottle. I wish I would have got a bigger bottle, but I thought this bottle would be bigger, but it wasn't. So I don't know. I just when I when I picked up the bottle and I told her what I wanted, I thought I told her the bigger bottle, but she gave me this one. And I'm sorry I have makeup in my nails, y'all. But I got this. So that's what I got from the Chanel store. Those two things. Then I went to HM. And I end up getting this perfume here, you guys. It is called H&M Peach. When I tell you, this perfume smells so good. So good. Like, so, so good. It smells like a peach soda. Like, peaches. Like, oh my gosh. If you like the way peaches smell, this is what this smells like. Oh, I tried to look for this in our H&M, but they don't have it. So, 
I don't know, maybe I can order it offline, but I need about three bottles of this. And this was like $9.99. It smells so good. It smells so good. So I'm gonna try to look around for this and see who have it, cause I want it, like ASAP. Okay, another thing that I got from H&M was this beautiful, thick, chunky gold necklace. Now, when you see this necklace, this is not necessarily my style. I am not a girl that wear a really, really chunky necklace, but I want to get into it because it's very, very trendy right now. Um, and I want to wear this. This is like, I don't know, it's giving me Dior vibes because Dior did come out with like a necklace like this. So... I do want to wear it. I just think it looks so bougie. And I kind of want to wear it with like a turtleneck. This is nice. And I love the way it sits on my neck. Like I would never invest in like the Dior one because I do feel like this is a trend. And I like more of a dainty type of necklace. But I do like this from H&M. This is really cute really cute so i guess i'll keep that one throughout the video because i don't feel like taking it back off okay so i went to h i mean uh got that from h i was at the gallery lafayette and they had a sephora and i had to go in there so this is what i got from sephora it was my birthday so of course they gave me the like gift and this is the whole clinique little set i also picked up the naked weightless liquid foundation in the concealer this here so i picked up that i don't know why i decided to pick this up in paris because i could have got it from home but i don't know i picked it up i got the foundation and the concealer i also was able to get the brazilian bum bum cream and the cocoa um cabana cream i got those these are like samples because i had enough points i also got a milk little tester this is the um the grip primer that everybody talk about one but this is what i really went in there for charlotte tilbury setting powder i heard so many great things about this powder it is very expensive. I think this is about $60 or $55 or something like that for this setting powder. But I wanted to try it out, you guys. I heard so much good things about it. So, I was like, you know what? I love setting powder. So, I'm going to try it out. This is the color. It's called the Magic Powder. The Magic Under Eye and Face Powder. So I can't wait to see how that looks. And the color I got was in, what color is this? Tan to dark. So that's what I got from Sephora. And yeah. So let's move on. So I went inside of this little cute little store. It was like a little boutique type of store. It wasn't like a name brand type of store. It was just like, I don't know, like a little boutique store. And I got two purses from my. So these are like dupe type of bags. This bag here. I picked up now this is giving me Chloe vibes this is like a dupe for the Chloe bag I'll probably insert it right here maybe um, if I can find it but this bag is so cute and I just thought it was so pretty and it was $30 and I got it and you guys know I love black bags so I got that and it was super affordable super cute I also got this bag here now this is definitely a dupe for the Banega, I, I can't pronounce that. I'll leave the real one right here. But this is a dupe, um, and it is beautiful. This is definitely my favorite bag of the year so far. It is so pretty. It is so plush. You can open it like that. It is so quality. Like, this bag is very great quality. And this bag was $70, but I felt like it was worth it. Very pretty. It looks like a chocolate bar, like thumbnail <laughs> this is so pretty thumbnail okay so i got that this was 70 dollars in paris and i think it's really really pretty and i cannot wait to wear it i think the original bag is probably almost two thousand dollars so or probably even more so 70 dollars and this look exactly like the real one 
yes honey i'll i'll take that and it's so like great quality i should have got the black one as well okay so a few more things and i'm done just like that I picked up two belts. I went into Zara. I did get an outfit from Zara, you guys, but um, it's in the washer, and it's just like a two-piece outfit. I'll probably insert a picture of it on the side. I seen a girl on Instagram wear it. Um, I did wear that in Paris, and it was super cute and it was super warm, but it does not wash well. Um, I did take it out the washer and kind of rewashed it, and it does not wash well. It looks I don't know it look it don't look the same so maybe you have to take it to the cleaners because it don't wash well so anywho i got this belt here from zara i want to start wearing belts this year you guys i was super inspired inspired by the paris fashion oh my gosh y'all the way they dress is so simple but classy and timeless and I just feel like they dress so bossy and just so effortless. Everybody have on trench coats. Everybody have on turtlenecks. Everybody is super, super simple. But classy. Ugh, I love the the French, the French dress code. I think I was more in love with the dress code than anything. That in the coffee shop. But the dress code, the way people dress was so me. I seen everybody was getting this belt in Zara, and I was like, you know what? This year, I want to start wearing more belts. I just think belts make you look super pulled together. I don't care if you have on a t-shirt and some jeans. Tuck your t-shirt in and throw on a belt, and I just feel like, or maybe a belt in this necklace, and I just feel like you look more put together. So I got this little belt here, a black and gold belt. And the reason I got this belt because it's super skinny. Not super skinny, but it's thin enough to go in my pants, like in my jeans the belt loop so this is really cute and I like that the gold is not super shiny it's kind of like a dull gold like my earrings like very like vintage type of gold and I like that and then I went I also got these earrings I'm sorry you guys I the other one is in my room and I don't feel like getting it but here is these earrings here I got from Zara these are super super cute as well I don't want to break it I'm always breaking stuff. But these are super cute. Let me take it out the package so you guys can see how it looks. But I haven't worn these yet. I don't know how to wear them yet. But I'm going to wear them. They are so cute from Zara. And they were $12.95. Sorry. But these are the earrings here. And I just think these were these are so cute with your hair pulled back like with my middle parts right here with these earrings on they're just like a statement type of earring i wouldn't wear this necklace with it but these earrings are super cute and i got these from zara as well one more thing i got from zara and i'll be done with this haul you guys um i got this belt here from zara i am super in love with this belt i don't know you guys i think when I went to Paris, everybody was wearing belts with trench coats, and I was just really messing with the vibes. So I was like, oh my gosh, I want belts. So, um, I'm going to belt a lot of clothes this year. This is just so cute. I don't even know how I'm going to wear it, but I just love this belt. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I got it from Zara, and this was $17.95. And I just think it looks super expensive. Like, even with, like, a pair of light jeans no this is a waist belt so i have to figure out how i'm gonna wear it like a black blazer a white blazer dress will look cute with it um it's just super cute so that's it y'all that's everything i got from paris i know this haul was super super small but i promise you guys on instagram that i was gonna do this haul hopefully you guys enjoyed it i know it was small but like i said i really enjoyed the experience and i really didn't focus on shopping i wanted to shop but i was just so focused on taking pictures and actually enjoying the experience i did not shop as much but I still wanted to bring you guys this haul. I love you guys so much. And make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.